What do you think of the trade? What do you Man, think of this trade? I, you know, I think it's awesome because, you know, a lot of times you get to the trade deadline and nothing happens. Right. You know, you kind of let down. Right. So this is, this is great. I think it's great for uh, us as fans. But I, then in terms of the teams. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think this is, a, this is a great trade for the Brooklyn Nets if you can get something out of Ben Simmons. Because we really don't know what's going on with Ben Simmons. We like, don't. Is, we don't. Like, is he, was he hurt? Was, is, is it mental? So is he going to all of a sudden come into the gym and just start running the show? Like, how's this thing going to work? <laughs> but in terms of what it adds to that team, uh, a big point guard, long, great on the defensive end of the floor. Um, you don't have to worry about him shooting the ball like he wouldn't do, <laughs> right? <laughs> because you got guys right. for that. Kyrie right. Irving mm -hmm. and uh, you know Kevin Durant. Those are the guys that you want with volume shots. And then I think to me, I think the biggest piece of this is Seth Curry. You look at the, uh, the series last year against um, the Bucks. We all expected that Joe Thomas would be the guy that right. he's going to be open. He's going to drain shots. He couldn't hit a shot. And all of a sudden, this game goes to seven. They can't pull out a win. Seth Curry is going to be able to make shots. Right. So I think in terms of the Brooklyn Nets, I think this was a great trade for them. Yeah, you could. In, and uh, Harris is out for the season, right? Yeah, Joe Harris is yeah. out for a while. Uh, on that mental uh, health point, Charles, Ramona Shelburne just tweeted as well uh, that Simmons is going to continue to work with his therapist to get mentally ready to play. Quote, it's a work in progress. Uh, he's thrilled with the change of scenery and has already spoken to Kevin Durant. But can, but can, he, can he work while he's getting mental health? Look, and that's see, the see, see that's, and that, this is a very thorny subject, as you know, and we all know. And, you know, uh, Calvin Ridley missed much of the season, you know, um, uh, and – um, Lane Johnson missed some games right. in Philadelphia just on the NFL front this year. Our friend Jay Glazer has yep. written a terrific book on the subject matter of getting rid of the gray and trying to have blue sky days. And and it's a very serious subject matter. And uh, we're back here on the Rich Eisen Show Terrestrial Radio Outfit. Charles Woodson is here chopping up the trade of uh, J James Harden um, to Philadelphia and Ben Simmons and Seth Curry and Andre Drummond and picks going to Brooklyn. That, you know, if, if all of a sudden Simmons shows up like, hey, I'm ready to play basketball. It's like, well, what was the mental health about, Ben? You know, and so uh, the first reaction that he's still working with a therapist, it's I'll be honest with you. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of pleased to hear that because the last thing I want to do is have anybody ever look at somebody and saying, what, what's that mental health about? You yeah, know? but then if you come back and you're inserted right into the lineup, how do you explain it? Exactly. You can't. That, you can't. That's the, that's the thing. Like, we, we, we're all sympathetic. I don't know what he's going through. You know, the, the two things you don't know, it's what's going on in the man's head and what's going on in his, in his house. Right. But if you come back and immediately you're playing, you got to kind of explain what was going on for the first half of the season. Why couldn't you come back and play? Like, that... I, that's that's the gray area, gray area that we're, yes. we're dealing with right now. So uh, I, yes, and everyone was just assuming it it was whatever was going on in Philadelphia, and that might have might have might have lent to it. And now he's going to New York, which you know is not for the it wallflowers. Get, it doesn't get easier. It does not. <laughs> yeah. It does not. But yeah. the good thing is that we're, you know, whereas in Philadelphia at times it's like he's got to be the one to make the shots. Now he doesn't. Now he can actually fill the role, and he was, you know, he's an extremely talented kid. Well, but I, 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 as you point out, it could be Seth Curry that could be a, the key to this deal, too. Well, and, and then on the flip side, um, he wasn't taking shots in Philly, but now you get a guy who takes some shots. Mm -hmm. You know, he wasn't as dominant in Brooklyn as he, as he was in Houston uh, in his stop before that, but James Harden is a guy that he can take over a game. And I just think that's what they're looking for in that position from an offensive side. Now, he's not going to give you that same defense that right. Ben Simmons will give you, but offensively, you pair a guy up with Embiid, who is, by all accounts, you know, from what I hear and what I watch, he's mm -hmm. like he's the MVP of the league. And That's you, what we were talking about here on this right. show, right, TJ? He's exactly. the MVP of the Philadelphia right Seventy Sixers, really not the league, it right? Now. Right, I know. Yeah. With no help, so. he's, he's unstoppable. And Seth Curry is uh, no longer on uh, Doc Rivers' team, huh, Chris? And, right. and he might. And no, Thanksgiving's no, going to no, be no longer on the Christmas wish list. No <laughs> Thanksgiving's going to be very awkward <laughs> for, for them. Is Doc's Son-in-law. 
But Doc's already traded his actual own son. Yeah, so in, Doc in, in put, Los Angeles. In, in all He's fairness, traded. Seth should have seen this coming because Doc has traded his own <laughs> son. <laughs> right. His son, Doc has now been part of a trade of his son and son in law. Does he no, have anybody else that he could trade? Nothing is sacred. I don't know. Well, that's a heck of a Thanksgiving table. Right. Well, could you imagine all of them together today and all of a sudden this comes across the ticker mm. and everybody's looking at each other like, <laughs> 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 you, you did this to me. <laughs> <laughs> How Dal, Dal Morey must be out of his mind, excited right now. Feels like it. Because Feels like they could have just cut to, out the yeah. Brooklyn middleman last year, right? Am but, I wrong? Because he didn't want to trade yeah. Ben Simmons at the time. Well, I mean, it may not have been him. Could have been somebody else. But he held on. He held. He stood pat the entire time. Yeah. Now, hey, look. Now it's also on Harden. Yep. Yep. Right. It's got to show yep. proof. Now. It's show now that, this is like how many more times has this man been acquired by a team? Can a man be acquired by a team by saying missing piece championship and yeah. then not at all? Right. And like, then and then basically force your way out to another team. Right. You know. But once you get there, what are you going to do? Well, at least he didn't eat his way out of this one, right? <laughs> I did say that. You did. You did. Bad suit. I, I did say <laughs> that. <laughs> We think that he was just layered up for that I, one picture. I think what do you so, mean? but it just no. looked like he was. What are you talking about? Well, remember that picture before extra. he got traded to Brooklyn? It looked like he put on about thirty, and then like three days later, yeah. it was like, wait yeah, it was a second, gone. it's gone. <laughs> yeah. Where did all the weight go? <laughs> are you saying? Are you? Are you? Cool T.J. Jefferson, Chris Brockman. <laughs> By the way, two thirds of the Rich Eisen Show basketball podcast were all podcasts. <laughs> well, we talked yeah. all about this. You're welcome. You're so welcome to be a guest, Charles. You are saying to Charles Woodson here that you believe at one point. James Harden was so wanting out of Houston, he put on an actual fat suit for a game and played in a fat suit. For <laughs> no, a not a is fat suit. Is that what you're saying? No, not a fat like, suit. I, I think he's not ruling it out. <laughs> like, like Nutty Professor. Like Eddie Murphy <laughs> no. and the Nutty Professor. I think, I think he's, he's, he's layered up, though. He's not ruling it out. He layered up. It out. No. Like Mike Myers and... <laughs> right? Get in my belly. Get in my belly. Right. Get in... <laughs> I don't so, know if we could say that on TV. So, Charles, you believe that this, you said how you feel this, tra- this trade's going to affect the Nets. What about the Sixers? What do you, how do yeah, you see what, this? What, yeah, that's what I was saying. I, you know, I think with, with Harden, um, you know, we always talk about having, you know, a, a big three. But I think in terms of Harden and Embiid together, like that's enough, you know, of a duo, you know, to really cause damage if you get the Harden that will go and take over a game. Because yeah. we really hadn't seen, you know, the Harden, you know, that we used to see prior to going to Brooklyn, like mm-hmm. really taking over games. And then, you know, with him, I mean, got the hamstring, you know, he forced his way out, right? But so is he healthy? Is he going to be able to play <laughs> down the stretch? I don't know, this is... We just established he's a man who looked fat one day and then was an all-star the next. That's not good for your hammies. It's not, it's it's not good saying. for your hammies. You know, it, 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 has there ever been a team that averages on a nightly basis a third to maybe 40% of their points from the free throw line. Because <laughs> between Embiid and Harden now. Yeah. Are there two guys who get to the line more in the NBA than these two guys? I mean, Embiid, Embiid like uh, over his stretch in January, he averaged like 15, 20 made free throws a night. Well, it's because I guess everything was going through him and he's playing Orlando and it was no offense. <laughs> Cause I know that's, you know, your neck of the woods, yeah. but um, you know, I, 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 I can't wait to see it. Yeah, me too. How, and if the basketball gods smile upon us, first mm. round matchup, <laughs> Sixers and Nets, if there is a way that we can make this happen. First round? No. I don't know. The, the Nets won't fall into the to the, to the play-in, the Nets, right? Like seven now? Nets won't fall in the play-in, and then the Nets get in the play-in and wind up, you know, and, and the Heat are the one seed, so it's not like, you know, the Sixers are guaranteed to be the one. Yeah, the top six teams in the East decided by four games separate right. them. Brooklyn currently eighth. There you go. Why not? Brooklyn's at eight now. Yeah. So why can't... I mean, there's only five games separating one lost, from... They've lost eight in a row. So, so, so it all gets ordered. They've lost, How, they've lost nine in a row. Nine in a row. Brooklyn. Right, so Brooklyn gets its act together. Let's just say maybe gets up to the sixth seed. And uh, the Sixers, based on all the ordering... Wind up in the three seed. Three versus six. Here we go. 76ers. Do you want it right off the bat, though? Do you Why not? The first round? Oh, pieces. I like my steak served first up. <laughs> Seven, 76ers Mary. started the day 13-1 to one win the title. Now 7-1. to one. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.